Hey, friends all over the world. Friends all over the world, you want to log on and watch this. I have a urgent warning for you from the Lord, an urgent warning from the Lord. The Lord gave me this message, and he told me to give it to you. In fact, I was actually speaking to, we were praying this morning, and in my prayer time, this came up. This, this very thing that we're talking about came up as a point. The Lord spoke to me about it, and I need to give it to you. I want you to share this message with everybody that you know. Share with everybody you know right now. Quickly, go ahead and tag a friend. Share this message. Tag somebody. Comment below. Tell me where you're watching from. Have an urgent message from the Lord for you. An urgent warning. An urgent warning. Beware of distractions. Beware of distractions. Beware of distractions. We are living in a time where distractions are becoming more and more prevalent, more and more pervasive, more and more common, and it requires more and more discernment to identify them. Beware of distraction. A distraction is defined as something that takes your attention off of what you should be focused on. A distraction is something or someone that takes your attention away from what you should be focused on. The Bible talks about it says that we are not ignorant of his devices. One of the enemy's devices is distraction. In fact, I talk about in one of my books, Kingdom Authority, I talk about the four tactics of the enemy. And usually everything he does falls within one of these four categories. Either number one, temptation, deception, number three, distraction, and after distraction, it's oppression. So the enemy can't tempt you to sin against God, then he, he then wants to deceive you, to get you to believe something that's not true. If he can't get you to believe something that's not true, his next modus operandi, his next MO, his next strategy is to get you distracted, to get you distracted, to get you to take your attention away from what you should be focused on. As a reference, I want you to study the book of Nehemiah, chapters 1 through 9. I'm sorry, Nehemiah chapter 1 through 5. And you will see there that Nehemiah is sent by God under the auspices of the king with letters, with an entourage, right, a caravan with resources he's sent to rebuild the wall in Jerusalem. So what happens? As he's doing the work, one of the first things that happens is that Sambalot and Tobiah show up. Sambalot and Tobiah show up. And, and one of Sambalot and Tobiah's assignments is to entrench themselves in the work that God gave Nehemiah, to feign themselves as helpers. Let me tell you something. You need to hear this by the Holy Ghost. One of the biggest de uh, uh, deceptions and one of the biggest distractions and tactics that the enemy will use, he will send false support. False support. But it's nothing but a distraction. It's not everybody that you need to connect with. It's not everybody that you need to help you. It's not everybody that's assigned to you. And you have to have discernment. Some stuff is just a distraction. It's just a distraction. It's meant to create enough drama to take your mind and your attention off of your assignment. You got to stay focused. Tell your neighbor, stay focused. Write in the comment section, stay focused. You have to stay focused on what God told you to do 
and not be entangled with yokes of bondage. Paul told Timothy, he says, listen, as a good soldier, don't entangle yourself with the affairs of this life. Don't get entangled. Don't get into entanglements. Don't get into distractions. See, a lot of people are being distracted. You're being distracted. It's not warfare. It's a distraction. It's not a prayer point. It's a distraction. It's not a storm. It's a distraction. You got to stay focused. You got to stay focused. Leaders, some of you are trying to lead a distraction. <laughs> you, you might not catch what I just said. Some of you, I found out, let me tell you something as a pastor. Some people that come into a church are not members. They're not attendees. They're distractions. They were sent there by the devil to divert your attention off of the vision God gave you. That's how, let me tell you how you know. Sambalot and Tobias says, we want to help you, but they didn't have the same spirit. So when, when you, you know people are a distraction when they come in with their own vision, when they come in with their own agenda, when they come in with their own assignment. It's not a complimentary assignment. It doesn't align with what God gave you. It's their own agenda. Come on now. And let me tell you what a distraction will do. Distractions in the form of people will get mad when they can't distract you. Yeah, somebody put that in the comment section. Good God, I feel the Holy Ghost already. Let me tell you something. A distraction will always throw a tantrum when it can't distract you. Why won't you let me distract you? Why won't you let me waste your time? Why won't you let me get you caught up in drama? They will fuss and they will fight and they will throw a tantrum. They'll slander, they'll do whatever they can because they are upset that their assignment of distracting you has gone unfulfilled. Somebody say, you won't fulfill that assignment today. Good God Almighty. Everything is not, everything is not, come on. Everything is not meant to be paid attention to. Come on. Come on. Some stuff is not, an assignment. Some stuff is not a member. Some stuff is not a legitimate need. It's just a distraction. The Lord says, be careful in this season of distractions. Be very mindful of the things you spend your time and energy on. Some conversations are nothing more than a distraction. Some phone calls are a distraction. Some friend requests are a distraction. Some people that try to connect with you. Some connections are infections. You didn't hear what I just said. Some connections are infections. You, you think you're connecting, but it, it's a waste of your time. And let me end with this. Let me end with this. Here's the problem that some of you have. And you've learned this from unsuccessful people. You believe it's God's will for you to give yourself to everything and everyone. And the reason why you're so unproductive is because you don't have the discernment to know what is a waste of your time? You don't have the ability to distinguish. You know what? This is a waste of time. You can't tell the difference between treasure and trash. That's why, do you know, that's why people become hoarders. You know what a hoarder is? They had a show on thing A&E about hoarders. Hoarders are people who can't throw stuff away. They get the Nutella bottle and they turn it into a dishwashing liquid holder. Come on now. They get the aluminum foil. They save it. After the chicken, they clean the chicken off of it and wrap it back up. Cause so now the, now the steak smells like fried chicken. They recycle the oil in the pan. They're hoarders. They can't let things go. They can't distinguish between something that's trash and something that is to be treasured. 
And so they keep everything. Do you know that as much as we can laugh at somebody that's a hoarder in terms of trash, there are spiritual hoarders, there are emotional hoarders, there are relationship hoarders, there are people who don't know how to let things go. They want to accumulate everything. Anybody that comes into your life, anybody that gives you a word, anybody that speaks to you, anybody that friends request you. See, even Facebook puts a limit on how many friends you can have. After 5,000, you can't add any more friends. I don't know why they did that, why the algorithm decided to do that, but I can only imagine we have to have a limit to where at this point, I, I, you're not even a friend, you're just a distraction. You're just something taking up time and space. And so God says, and he told this to me this morning in prayer, he says, son, beware of distractions. The enemy is coming cloaked in distractions. And these distractions, especially in this season, in this hour, you have to be very intentional. You have to be very intentional and discerning. Some stuff is I meant. And let me tell you something. Folk will get mad when they can't distract you. Sometimes I don't. Let me tell you something. As a pastor, I know the difference between a member and a distraction. And you may not know the difference, but I do. So I don't waste my time. Oh, you didn't talk to me because I didn't want to talk to you because you're a distraction. You're a waste of my time. And yes, I said it. You can get mad. Unfollow me now. Some folks are a waste of your time because they don't want God. And if you don't want God, you don't want me because I'm wrapped up in him. Ladies, some men are a distraction. They come to waste your time. Men, some women are a distraction. It's not a date. It's a distraction. That's not a relationship. It's a distraction. It's taking your attention away from what you should be focused on. I'll never forget this thing. This is the last thing I'll say. I remember uh, one of my pastor friends was telling the story. He was dating a woman, really liked her, was going to marry her. And God says, you can't marry her. He said, what do you mean? I love her. She's wonderful. We both love the Lord. He said, you're unequally yoked. He said, what do you mean? She's saved. She's full of the Holy Ghost. I'm saved. I'm full of the Holy Ghost. He says, I've called her to have a powerful ministry to women, to single women. She's not supposed to be married. If you marry her, you will become a distraction to her. And she will never fulfill the assignment that I gave her. Some of y'all are dating your distraction. You're courting the very thing that is, that is sent to derail you, that is sent to take you out of God's will for your life, to deter you, a divergent thing, to take you away. And, 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 and now, watch this, when you entertain the distractions, you're wasting your time, you're wasting your energy, you're caught up in something that doesn't need your time and doesn't need your emotional energy. And so now you're divulging it, you're diverting it, you're divesting it into something that's nothing more than a distraction. It's been set and engineered from the very pits of hell to waste your time. Some phone calls are a waste of time. Some text messages don't deserve a response. See, what happens is we don't understand that this is one of the enemy's technologies. He uses the technology of distraction to take your mind off of what God, see, here's the thing. You may still love the Lord. You may still be walking with God, but you're not focused on the thing you're supposed to be focused on right now. You're not focused on the thing, the thing. There's a thing. There's a thing. There's something you're supposed to be doing right now. There's someone you're supposed to be connected to right now in this season. There's some place you're supposed to be right now. And the devil will send distractions to take your mind. And, and, and what he wants to do is cause you to have spiritual ADHD. You can't focus. Anything to come your way. Oh, okay, let's do that. Oh, 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 start. Okay, start a prayer ministry. God told you to go to Zimbabwe. Why are you doing a prison ministry in Chicago? Come on, why are you giving baked goods to the poor? Yes, are all those things good? They're good, but all of them aren't good for me now. And if I try to do them all, I won't do anything. You got to zero in. You got to hone in on what God has for you now. This is my assignment. As a pastor, people will come and they'll say, you should be doing prison ministry. God didn't tell me to do that. 
You can go do that, and I bless you. And I think it's going to be powerful. I'll even support you financially. But you can't change the vision God gave me. It's not going to happen. I'm focused. Success comes from being focused. You got to focus. You got to set your mind. Keep your eye on the pro- The Lord is saying this to you by the Spirit of God. Do not allow things to come in and to take your attention away from what you should be focused on in this season. There's some things God wants you to do right now. There's some people God wants you to connect with right now. There's some places God wants you to go right now. Don't have spiritual ADHD. Some of y'all are listening to too many voices. You're going to too many places. You, you've been to too many conferences. Nothing wrong with conferences, but some of you need to hone in on something. Some of you are professional vagabonds because you've never settled in on anything because the enemy is constantly distracting you with good things. Every good thing is not a God thing. The Lord says, do not be distracted in this season. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused focused. Beloved, I bless you. Hey, consider going to our uh, website, KeenanBridges.com, supporting the ministry and uh, being a partner. We would love to hear from you. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's going to be awesome. In fact, I'm going to go live in just a little bit. Listen, I love you. And remember, Jesus is Lord. Share this with everybody.